Okay, today we're going to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, number 38, on page 20 in your book. I want you to play, pay close attention. For the cellist, F sharp is your third finger down. And for violinist, it's your second finger extended. Now, when you play F sharp with your second or third finger, you need to make sure that you keep your first finger, and for cellos, your second finger and third finger all down simultaneously. You don't want to play with just one finger at a time. Number one, it just looks bad. And number two, what if you had to play uh, E or uh, accidental F right after that? Well, your fingers wouldn't be in place. So you want them to be ready to go. So a lot of times in this music, we're going to play F sharp and then we need to play E right next. So our first finger has to be down ready to go. And if you have an open string D, make sure all three of your fingers are hovering the string. You don't want to pull them back because what if all of a sudden you have to put them down? Well, you don't know where to go. You want to keep a reference point. And for cellist, you want to keep your thumb married to your second finger. So your thumb is about where your second finger will be down. Okay, in between the E and the F sharp. All right. So. Having said all that, let's play Mary Had a Little Lamb. We start with F sharp. Third finger for cellist, second finger for violinist. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> time together. Ready? And Wait. I jumped the gun. Let's try it one more time. Ready? And Now in French folk song, we have to retake the bow, and it's that tiny little comma that's in the one, two, let's see, one, two, three, fourth measure, right before we repeat the music. That comma means get ready, retake the bow, and get ready for down bow again. So when you see that comma, that is preparing you to get up and retake the bow, okay? French folk song starts with open string D. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four. <laughs> fun while you're at home. Keep practicing. 